and vital place. Today we are gathered here to bid farewell to Shri Rajkumar as you were on his retirement on supervision and I am glad to get the opportunity to deliver a few words in respect of him as a Greek and not as a wife. I will not exaggerate if I say that he is a master of all things and jack of none. This I can say because some of you might have worked with him for one or two years or one at one or two stations. But it is me who have worked with him for 33 years at every station of his posting. During his 39 years of long service, wherever he was posted, duties assigned, duties done by him are no doubt appreciable. Although there are so many achievements done by him, but saving the time, I would like to mention one instance of it as it made a history in that office. He was just as you three when we were in the office of Dio Agra Sagar. He was detailed to get the large scale of 42 unauthorized pakka shops demolished, which was assisted, assisted for a very long period. Despite being a junior level officer, he accomplished the task so well that that too at his own level by arranging police force and transport and laborers etc. from the camp board that everybody was amazed. He did not let even any malba left there so that reconstruction may not start. Nobody was, <laughs> nobody was expecting such a junior level officer to execute the demolition plan in such a manner when he was at sight to execute this plan, I was sitting in the office fully unaware of that. I came to know about all that only when he came back from the site and other colleagues were congratulating him for the success of the mission. It still shakes me when I remember that incident and the words of our colleagues that I should be I should have been thankful to the Almighty as my husband came back alive, otherwise only his cap would have come because public went berserk on him as he was a leader of the ammunition team. What I personally feel is that he had done the work as a soldier at front. Thus he proved that he, he, for him duty is first and then comes the family. And as a wife, I am really very proud of him and I salute him. So he has been the kind of officer who placed his job commitments above his family commitments. His performance as SDO1 has been predictable and unmatched. He has been honest, transparent and executed his duties with great sincerity. He has held an unblemished and impassable service record. He was fair and firm in his dealings. His honesty, integrity and ethics have set an example for others to follow. Although due to his honesty, he had faced difficulties at times which disturbed his family life. After retirement, what we left behind is always counted. Though he will not be here in the organization, he will be remembered for his devotion to duties. He was a great pillar and no doubt an asset of the organization, working beyond the call of duty and not demanding anything in return. At last, I on behalf of all of us wish him a very good health and a very happy and enjoyable retired life, of course with me, our children and our grandchildren as I am also about to join him in September. <laughs>